All right, uh, let's move on to the next question. So the next question reads, find the length of the curve correct to four decimal places. All right, and they gave us a vector valued function. Uh, so in previous um, lessons, I said that the, um, the length of a curve given a uh, function f of x, so given f of x, y, for example, um, the uh, length of a curve Oops. equals the uh, definite integral between a b of the root of 1 plus f prime of x y squared. Okay, so that was what I suggested as the uh, formula to calculate the arc length of a curve. In this case, we're giving a vectored valued function instead. So the length of um, this curve is given um, r of, I guess, t with, I don't know, um, i, j, k or something, or t, let's say, given i, j, k, I guess, sure. Um, so vectored, uh, the length of the curve is equal to the definite integral between um, a and b of the magnitude of this vector value function of the derivative of this vector value function in terms of t okay so we're going to be using this equation when we're giving a vector value function okay all right so first i think first things first we're going to define r of t so r of t is equal to it's a three-dimensional vector where x, y, and z, the, the deductions are t, e, e, negative t, and t times e to the power of negative t. And we want it between the interval 1 and 3, OK? So first things first, we're going to derive everything in terms of dt. So that would equal to d of dt of t, d of dt of e to the power of negative t, and d of dt of t times e to the power of negative t, okay? If we were to calculate this, uh, these uh, derivatives, it would be one negative e to the power of ne uh, negative t, and uh, you're using the product rule here, so e to the power of negative t uh, minus t times e to the power of negative t, okay? Now we're gonna calculate using the f uh, formula here, so the um, the magnitude of r prime t is root of wow that was so bad root of one squared plus uh, this should be a minus one squared minus e uh, plus minus e to the power of negative t squared uh, plus um, 1 minus t times e to the power of negative t uh, squared. Okay? Cool. That would give us uh, 1 plus e to the power of negative 2t and plus uh, 1 minus t squared and e to the power of negative 2t. Okay, cool. And now we're going to calculate the definite integral of this. Um, so the definite integral of this is just, we're just going to plug in So we're going to need to integrate this now too. Um, so it's going to be length equals uh, root one to three of r prime of t dt. Okay. Uh, let me pen this all the way down. 
Okay. And that equals to um, the integral of 3 of 1 and 1 plus uh, 2 minus 2t two plus t squared. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, so this integral is pretty hard to calculate. Um, so we're just going to use integral calculator here. And the value that we get for that is um, L is approximately 2.0454, okay? Uh, so this integral is pretty hard to calculate. Um, so we just use an integral calculator to calculate the value here. So that's how you find the length of the curve, correct to four decimal places. Okay. Uh, so this solution is correct. <laughs>